Right, we're having a look at the boot of our Range Rover Evoque and we have bought some accessories from Land Rover. They've done us a special deal on these. Um, we bought these direct from Land Rover and we've got these rather sleek looking. These are like solid, they're like German built, look at that, built in Germany. Um, and these, now Dan's been looking at this, not me, so I'm making this up. These basically go um, down the, the length of here, they're contoured to fit in here. So they're gonna go into this area here and the other side. Um, and what have we got going on here, Dan? So we got, so we got a little lock unlock. It's probably easier to look at them. So then I'm, 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 I'm that's what like you push down. That's it. And they've got some. Come, oh yeah. So can you just see on the camera, Dan? They got a series of little. Every couple of centimeters, yeah, they've just... got these little indentations. And so when you're in the unlock position, you can press and maneuver these. And you could obviously use them as a lashing strap. But the key to it is these little posts here. And you get some accessories that fit into these posts. So what we're going to do, I'm guessing here, is we're going to reposition these each side. So it's going to use the original bolts that hold these tie downs down, I'm guessing. And they seem to line up roughly there, don't they? There with there. Yeah. We're going to remove the original tie downs. We're going to put those in. Cut the carpet. We've got to cut the carpet. That's what the instructions say. It's my deluxe shag par carpet. You get... That's savage, right? Do we get any, did they come with instructions or are they like instructions? Yeah, but I've left them over there. You've left them over there. We'll have a look at those in a second. And they come down with some hench bolts that we're going to have to fit. And obviously they're low profile bolts, so they're going to not get in the way of that. Right, I get that. Right, now this is the other bit of goodies we've got. So once we've got these little, these things fitted, this is the trick, isn't it? Is these little, they've got a little dock, so you can dock these. I'm guessing, have you, ever, have you done this yet? I've not docked it, but I... Uh, right, excellent. how do you undock it? Do you reckon you just press down? Oh yeah, so that's cool. So not only does that there allow you to move it, it undocks this little thing here. Uh, and then this is a sort of, oh, it's proper stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit posh. Uh, so it allows you to pull that out, like those old tent SATA barriers. And then you, you obviously got a little thing on that one, so you click it into the one over there and you can move it back and stop your Louis Vuitton handbag from sliding around the back of your boot. Right, so we're going to have a go at doing that. Oh, we've got, we've got more. Got, so as well as the the elastic barrier, you've got more of this sort of dog guard. They're pretty small dog mine, aren't they? Yeah. Um, Guinea pig. But you can, you can put that across there as well, and I'm guessing that slides, but yeah, that slides and that. We'll have a play with that later. Right, so let's get these rails in. Right, we've got our instructions, and basically the instructions are great. It tells you you've got the, what you get in the kit. It tells you to remove the boot lid floor, which I'm not sure is the best tool to do it in, but you've got to remove the original. So let's do that. Um, let's move the original clips here. Now, those of you that eagle eyed will see that we've spotted it on the other side. So, what size torque have you got here, Dan? T40. Yeah. So, that's a Torx T40. Make sure you've got one of those before you start. Right. You want to spin the other side of me, Dan? You've got to get better. Yeah. Here. People have spotted the saw. They're going, what's he doing next? <laughs> what's going on? It will be when we start. Now these got a little peg, so yeah, yeah. So if you ever fit in these, look, they've got a little peg there, so that you get them in the right order. If you look where you've got a hole, look, we're not refitting them, but just for for random knowledge. Right. So that's your your two of them out right so we're up on this we're up on this we've got this haven't we down we've got this right and then it's going you've got to do some measuring right and it does give you some dimensions there but basically they could have just explained that what you're going to do is you're going to recess i'm looking for the trim yeah is what you're going to do is you're going to recess this bit you can see where you've got the sunken area. It might be difficult to see on the video here and around here. Well, actually, we're going to cut this strip of carpet. Now, it's nothing more complicated than where we've got this edge here. We are going to run a line all the way along there, okay, up to there. And then you've got to go a bit longer. Now, you can do all the measuring, or you can just literally, if you line 
this hole up with this hole here and you line the other hole up you can see where the top is up there so you can just position this over the holes and then we've got a little china graph pen there we go and what we're right are you line up on that front i was the best one then yep right and so i'm just going to mark a line here at the end of this plastic section so you can see we've got to cut it out so this this end of this plastic section fits in and then what you've got to do is you've got to do a channel this wide which happens to be actually just just going off this back edge of this one here it's literally just a line along here look at that see what i'm doing there dan yep oh it's a bit wobbly in it but it ain't too bad right you could use a ruler if you're really professional no, we, don't right. we don't do that all right and then we're going to do that there right and what we've got to do now the instructions tell you to use a knife look right then where are we where are we dan number four, uh, number four. so it's doing there and then it says look just delicately cut it but the bit you're cutting out it's like four millimeters thick ABS plastic. And you ain't cutting that. You might mark it with a knife. You ain't, I can't cut that with a knife. And Dan had Weetabix for breakfast and he can't cut it with a knife. Right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this boot floor out now. Let me just move the bits off it carefully. You got our stuff everywhere now. Right then. Oh, well done, right. I'm going to throw those in there right and what we're going to do is we're going to cut into this now other point to note what you will notice here is there is oh, where's that bit we cut off dang give me that bit we cut off right so there's a little groove in here and what we're trying to get to is we're trying to get to it so that the carpet imagine this is the bit that's left in the car is going to fit into the groove there famous song by madonna comes to mind right then oh, have you caught up yet dan no Get into the groove, babe. I'm not that old. You gotta prove your love to me. Right then. So there we go, we're gonna get that. So and then it forms a nice thing. So if you just show them the skill that you've done that with on that side, Dan. So you can't see any of the cut edge. Because what that groove does is it supports the carpet and covers Dan's shoddy cutting, which is really <laughs> clever by Land Rover. Right then, Dan. Right. But you've got to be careful. Don't go cutting away with vigor because on this side there's a massive wiring cable. So we safety first, we've come up. If you get yourself a nice thin bit of metal and just slide it under there. Now make sure you mark on here roughly where that's gonna come to. Make sure you go in further than that line. All right? And then we're gonna put that in behind there to stop Dan cutting through all my wiring. Um, and then we're gonna go along with the vibrating tool now. Dan's perfected this now, aren't you Dan? Right, right, another little point. So this bit is easy. We're gonna go straight along this edge and we'll have a nice edge for that groove to slot under. What you've got to be a little bit more careful is here because you need to cut in at this angle here so that there is a, a horizontal ledge of carpet all the way along here for that groove to slide over. And Dan will demonstrate this beautifully now. Right, I'm gonna come around, should we watch you? Right. If you're listening, you might want to turn your volume down. Oh, I may have a look as the camera as the camera's got it. Because when this thing goes, it makes a hell of a noise.
back now. We're going to have to climb in our back and down, swap position. So you can see it's a bit brutal, but if Dan can do it, what am I saying, Dan? I don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Safety first, don't go cutting through my wires. You've done a good job on that, Dan. Not bad. Right, just tidy that up. Where's that knife we had? We did it's that. On the floor, I think. It's on the floor in front of me. Yep. All right, you want to just shave off those little because it leaves some little sort of got a little scrapey technique we developed on the other side. Just to take that, take that burr edge off. Blade away from him. Don't want no Halloween blood movie just because it's Halloween yesterday. Right, you happy with that, Dan? Yeah. Right, so then, so that it's that little groove there. We're gonna then Might need to take a bit more off, off that end. Let's have a look how it goes. Let's, we'll just we can fine tune it off video. We'll just try and all right then. It, it, took, it took quite a thump to get it in, didn't it? Yeah. That's it. I don't reckon you're far off, then. Just tucking that bit in there. That little burr there. How far off are we? I think it needs to come... Can you knock it this way just a little bit? Right, we're nearly there. We've got it a little bit out of line there. So we'll just have another little trim that, but that's basically the gist of it. We'll just fight with that a bit. It'll take two of us. Right, we've wrestled that in. Um, just be careful where the original clips were. It's got to have a, just a horizontal lip for it to go in like that. Right, but then if you look through, you should be able to see your original holes. So I need to give you a little bit of a push there then. But now the bolts have got us just, just the bolts have got a nice little lead in. You see that front, that very end bit of the bolt there, it's got a nice so you the bolt will sort of once it's roughly right, will find its own way in. Oh, all right then, hold on, let me push that for you. That's it, yeah, just until it's found its found its way. I can feel it going. Oh, then you're undoing. That's it. Yeah, don't cross thread it. There you go, you got it now. Look at that. Like a pro. And you can see how neat the fit is. It, they have designed it, you've got plenty of overlap, so you can be relatively savage, but good luck cutting that with a knife. Yeah. <laughs> right then. So that's that one. And the the rear one they've given you a slot so it should be a little bit easier to you got a little bit more room to play with there. That's it. That went in a bit easier, didn't it? I've got the Ikea, I wonder where my Ikea bag I got to. Right then. Right, you're gonna put the... Put the boot floor back in. Right, and now you can see it's 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 a lot neater now. Um, 
and that's a pretty neat little upgrade all in itself flip those back seats up and then we're ready to put our uh, louis vuitton louis vuitton it's a new brand right a louis vuitton holder in place so um which one are you going to go for first you use the dog guard right now right, how are you going to grab them do, do. Um, oh, that's it. Let's slide them out. You can put the dog. You can do some bodybuilding. Uh -huh. Work out now. Look at that. Look at that. Right. right, and so let's have a go at that. So I guess you sort of position. I guess you can put it in and position it all. Yeah, and it literally just pushes in. There's nothing to do, is there? So we got the rails installed. Now we can play with the accessories so these are sold separately um so this the, the what's this is the dog guard but it's not a dog guard and that just clicks in there does it that just yeah, presses down and, and that's 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 locked in and then you can move one of the rails you can slide so if you twist it to unlock and then press it down you should better slide it one way or another yeah so so let's 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 get let's get we'll just get something and, and emulate a load situation Dan, if you're going to put the antifreeze in the back of my Evoke, make sure it doesn't slide about. Why don't you use that super new load retaining system we have? Sorry, we're mucking about here. So let's have a look if we can work out. So put it, put it at the back, Dan, and then sort of jam it in. Can you sort of, can you, could you put it in one corner, Dan? Put it in one corner and then push that one forward a bit and then lock it there. And that isn't going to go anywhere then, is it? You see what I've done there? Yeah. So, so that's so that's how an example of how you could use the load retaining system. The other option you've got is um, a strap. So maybe take that one out. So how do you demount that? You press the. How do you take this? How do you unclip that? Oh, you have to press. You press the uh, press that down there, and that releases that one. So yeah. So see if you can use instead of that system. See if you can use the belt. So this is like a. I just click that in there. That's it. And then push both to the back. Lock them in. Looks like that's pulling a bit. Is that? There you go. Yeah. So there you go. That's another example of how you could use. So that's the belt system. He looks a bit lent over there, Dan. Is that just the way we've got him? That's no, just the way we've got him. So there we go. That's fitting the load rails to your Range Rover Evoque. And that's the two options you've got. Once you've purchased the load rails, then you know how to purchase this sort of rack system or gate system or the tent sator type belt. Right, one thing Dan wanted to point out is we use the cordless oscillating multi-tool to cut the carpet there. But you could buy, these are much cheaper. I think they're about £80 for the Oscillate in cordless one. But these are about £20. This is just a cheap silver line one. I think you can get these in Argos and anywhere. Um, so they're not that expensive. It's a good tool. We use them quite a lot, don't we, Dan? Yeah. So there we go. Good luck with that. Range Rover Evoke load space system played with. Explored.